probably kind of strange situation like last week we were bottom of the pile this weekend we got a chance of qualifying um, a great occasion always in, in in Claremont but how are you as players looking ahead to it I'm looking forward to it it's my first time in Claremont um, we always have you know tough battles against someone uh, in the past with some Chiefs they've gone down there and given it given it to them um, I want to be a part of that this year I'm looking forward to it you know um, they're not they're not uh, invincible and we're a very good team so we want to you know show show Europe so show people in country you know we uh, we're going down there and we're, there, we're there to fight as Rob says earlier in the season, it was probably the defining turning point of the season, wasn't it? The performance here wasn't a real Chiefs performance, and from then you've really kicked on. Yeah, that was a real slap in the face, losing that badly at home. So we've come, we've uh, re-evaluated, we've come forward and we've played some really good rugby since then. And obviously in France, last time, Bordeaux, first ever Champions Cup when you were part of that. Special feeling that night? Yeah, special feeling um, in, a, in a very nice city as well, you know, getting the win and uh, they have a really nice... Uh, a nice dinner afterwards and go out in the town and you know we can really enjoy that and those sort of wins really pull teams together and you know as I've said we've kind of put on really good performances after that. I was going to say the form is good, um, one defeat in nine now. Um, as players you must go out onto the field with an extra spring in the step but you know you've got to keep producing each week. Yeah it's definitely the confidence um, in the way we play, the way we defend is kind of akin to last year you know we're, we're, we were the top um, defence team last year. We slipped off that a bit, but you know we're, re we're really coming up and really showing um, prowess that we're, we're proud of. And as players playing in the Champions Cup, you can't get a bigger stage than that, apart from internationals, to, to really shine on. No, you know um, there'll be a lot of, lot of players this week looking to take their chances on that stage. Um, players coming into the team recently, like uh, Campagnaro, who's played, played brilliant last week. It's awesome uh, seeing him play so well. He's, he's always been a talent, and there's young guys like Stuart Townsend and Jack Mondo which um, really, I can imagine they're maybe a bit anxious, but definitely excited to play. Is that something you've seen from, you know, not necessarily since you've been here, but from afar, the, the, the input the young guys have had over the years? You've seen that sort of what we call the golden group come through and you're yeah. now playing with them. There's a good production line here, isn't there? Yeah, definitely. Um, there's there's definitely guys in the first team now and there's guys pushing up. So it's, it's, it's nice. I've uh, got a guy coming through um, English academies myself. It's, uh, it's definitely good to see young boys coming in and pushing the, pushing the first team. What about playing a French side? It's always a bit different over there. The crowd get 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 behind them. The noise is a, it's normally pretty intensive. Uh, the ref normally gets told where he's going right and wrong. Um, as players, is it something you relish? You know, a cauldron uh, like that. Um, it's definitely something uh, that sticks in your mind. Um, but you got to go to those games and just control what you can control. Really, you know, um, stick to your stick to your system, stick to the process, and. You know, don't try not to let it get it uh, get into your head, but definitely enjoy it.